What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. Drivers for companies just to tell the truth. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Good morning. This is for the, uh, the truckers out there and the ones who want to get into this game. I'm so sick and tired of seeing all these videos online lying to people about how much money you're making and all of this to here. Yeah, I know some of you saying, well, duck, how you know? Well, guess what? I'm in this thing. Been in it 15 years, okay? Was a company driver for two and a half years with three different companies, and I won't call their name, okay? And then I've been an own operator for 12 and a half years. Matter of fact, April will be 13 years I've been an own operator owning my own trucks, okay? But the point I'm trying to make here and I want to bring home is that if you're driving someone else's truck in today's game, the way trucking is now, and you making a thousand dollars and up, that's damn decent money. Stay there, okay? Now, if you're looking to come in here and make fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars a week driving somebody else's truck, you ain't gonna do it. You don't even have a year experience, two years experience, okay? And be careful with all these advertisements. We're going to give you 55 cent a mile, 70 cent a mile. That may be true. But what, you're going to be on a Dollar General account? Who are you going to be driving for, J.B. Hunt or somebody like that? They put you in a truck. Yeah, you're going to make that a mile, but you're only going to go 1,000 miles in a week. So that's really no money after taxes. So don't fool yourself. Do your research, people. Before you get into this game, the game have changed just in a year's time. Last year, this time, I was loading two, three trucks out of California, coming to Florida, and each truck was making ten and eleven thousand dollars. Okay, that's produce, and then even on dry loads, you see these big old solar panels that they put on people's homes and out of these big old fields and so forth. I was hauling those out of Anaheim, California, the beginning of last year, taking them into Baldwin, Florida. Live Oak, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. I was making $8,000 a load on those. But the game have changed. It's not like it used to be. So I want to say to all of you older guys, quit lying to these kids. Tell them the truth, man. Woman, tell them the truth. And if you married, you know, and want to be at home with your husband and our wife every night, this is not the game for you. If you have a girlfriend, a friend, whatever you want to call it nowadays, old lady, as we call it in the South, and you want to be with her every night, this game ain't for you. If you have small children, you want to be with your kids every night, I advise you to stay at home. Sacrifices. <laughs> this man says sacrifices. Period. If you don't want to sacrifice any part of your life, this is not for you if you don't want to sacrifice your kids this is not for you if you don't want to sacrifice your old lady this is not for you uh i'm telling you this is not for you okay again if you want to if if you don't want to sacrifice any part of your life kids happiness being away from your wife being away from just to go out partying this isn't for you i'm just saying i agree with this young man i agree with him I, he's telling you he's telling you what it is out here now i can't disagree with him on a couple of points you know like if you get offered 55 cent 60 cent 70 cent yeah you'll probably be driving accounts like uh dollar the dollar accounts and stuff like that but you'll also be offered those same amount i mean that same kind of money if you was to you know get with a black ops company a 1099 company a company that that you have to be responsible for damn near everything 
those companies are looking to take advantage of you as well. All right. But there was a comment that I want to touch on. And a young man came and respond to that comment. So let's go and look at what the comment was. This young man says he's trying to mislead y'all so that you don't be competition. He ain't slick. All right, let me put my little spin on that. You got a lot of people that comes in and just talks out the side of their neck like this young man right here. I don't see it as competition. Why? There's nothing to compete out here. We all doing the same thing, driving and trying to make some money. That's not competing with nobody. I'm sure somebody, a 15 year veteran is not trying to compete with a new driver that just came out of school, bruh. But let's hear what this young man has to say about that. I don't know. I hope I don't fall. Bruh, um, I follow you. Um, I do watch your videos, but I forgot if you're a trucker or not. I'm a trucker. That gentleman's a trucker. If you are great. But he's just trying to get them to accurately um, gauge their expectations. Okay, he's trying to get them, to, you know, to gauge their expectations because in that, you know, in CDL school, uh, you know, they say that the license is gold, you know, um, you know, protected, which is true. Um, you can go anywhere, which is somewhat true. Um, you know, he, he, you got companies out of the Midwest that's saying they guarantee eighteen, eighteen hundred dollars a week, um, especially out of Chicago. They line their ass off about certain, but they're, you know, they don't tell you they they paying zip code to zip code. They use Google zip code to zip code. So when you run through your EPS, you might be off two or three hundred miles. You're not getting. A lot of these companies don't tell these new drivers. They don't. A lot of these companies don't tell these new drivers what they what they really need to know. When you get up into companies that only gonna give you a certain amount of miles, they don't tell you that. They don't tell you that you're gonna get paid Google miles. They don't tell you that. They don't, they, they don't tell you what you need to know. So there's no competition here. There's no competition. I I I fail to I fail to grasp your comment sir ma'am whoever you know there's there's no competition here because again a lot of these companies don't even tell you what you need to know they only tell you what they want you to know just to get you in so that they can move on and fill the seats that's it that's it back in the day they would tell you that your cdl is golden they will tell you that you can you you can get with any company. That's not the case no more. Insurance justifies everything now for drivers to get into a, get into a company. They gotta go through their insurance to make sure that they can get you in. Think about that. They don't tell you that. They tell you that all you need is a year of experience. And you could get with a you could get with a company to company that no no you no you can't even do that you job jump so many times in that main job that you might want might not want you because you worked in too many damn jobs <laughs> just think about that next time somebody say hey you know get with this company or get with that company all right just think about that i don't know i hope i don't fall big cheese got it